Welcome to the podcast, Matthew Valenzuela. How are you doing, Matthew? Hello, I'm doing very good. How are you doing? Good. Um, yeah, thanks for coming on. When I first started the podcast, I wanted Jabez, Mark, and you, and now I've had all three now. So. Boom, yeah, yeah. I've actually, um, me and Mark are really, really close friends, like super close. So, and me and Jabez, I've only met him like three times, but he's pretty chill, like overall. I yeah. mean, we're pretty good friends, and like, we actually like hit like a little workout together. He's like, bro, how are you this big at 15? Because that was last year, and I was like still like kind of big, or like I was like kind of like getting into it, and he's like, bro, you're on steroids. But like he was just like being like he was just being like nice and like yeah, That's it was funny. all good. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So how old are you? And you're from uh, where are you 16. from? I'm from Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Cool. You don't look 16 at all. That's no way. <laughs> you look more like 18 or something. But, right. Um, yeah. So um, you're from San Antonio. Where are some places you've been and that you'd like to go? Ooh, places I've been, I, I've been on tour, so I've been to, like, a bunch of places in, like, the U.S., but I'm trying to, like, get out of the U.S., so I, I want to go to, like, to, like, Australia or, like, you know, Egypt or, you know, like, somewhere like that, like, China or I don't know, like, wherever is, like, not, like, in, like, the U.S., but especially South America because my family's from, from South America, so I, I would love to go there, honestly. Yeah, so um, tell us a little bit about your family. Yeah, my mom, she's pretty, um, she played wild. She always, she always likes to have, you know, little get togethers and, you know, her friends always come over and stuff like that. Like, they're pretty cool people. Um, she doesn't work. She's, she's a stay at home mom, but m- my dad works. He owns like a water company and this and that. And he does a little bit of solar and stuff. He actually owns a, a dispo, or no, his sister owns a dispo that he's about to own pretty soon up in, um, in Oregon. So it's pretty cool. Like, they just sell like CBD and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And your brother, you post about him sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's very smart, actually. He's going to be on – he's going to be nine this year, but he's eight right now. And he's super smart, dude. Like, he puts together, like, 2,000-piece puzzles that are meant for, like, 13 rows, and he's, like, eight. So, I'm like, I'm, I'm mind-blowing because I, I could never do that stuff when I was little. And he <laughs> loves video games, too. Loves them. And I never – I never played a single video game whenever I was younger. I mean, I played um like Sonic Racing and like Mario Kart, but like you know, those are just like the original games. Like everybody plays like Mario Kart. Yeah, I like the easy stuff. Yeah, he, he, he does like Call of Duty and all that shit. I'm like, dude, how do you do that? Like, like you gotta be skilled. <laughs> yeah, and you uh, you have a dog named Bella. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a funny picture of her. <laughs> yeah, I actually just saw her downstairs right now. She's sleeping. Yeah. Um she actually had um a litter of ten like about two years ago. Yeah, I saw that. That was I was like, dang. <laughs> yeah, dude, the puppies were crazy. Like they were like this little, but then they turned out to be like huge, like way bigger than her, like like twice her size. Yeah, what kind of dog is she? Um she's a American bullies. Yeah, yeah, just like American bullies. So it's bully dog slash pit bull slash pit bull. So Yeah. Um so yeah, tell me some about um, how you got started on social media, like when that started really taking off. When I was like 13, man, it was 13, literally, because I started like posting like a bunch of videos and just pictures of myself, like shirtless and like, oh, like this kid's 13, why is he shirtless? So I was blowing up from that and then like haters would come in, but who cares, honestly, like, I was still getting likes and stuff, but like, and then I started to gain supporters after I started, Um, I don't even know what I... Like, like fan pages started coming in, and like at first I was like, why, why am I getting fan pages? Like this is kind of weird. Like, like I feel like I'm getting stalked, and like, and like people are like trying to like be me. And honestly, man, like, ever since then, like I just started getting hella fan pages, and then like I started collabing with like Mark and like um, Jr. and all them, and, like you know all the people. And man, like our fandom just started growing hella, like crazy, crazy. Like it was like in 2020 where everything was just popped off. Yeah, so you weren't even trying to to take off then. It was just like an no, accident. I wasn't. It was just a whole accident, man. Yeah. Um. So, what are some cool experiences you've had as an influencer now? Ooh, well, I went on tour. Um. I get like a bunch of posters from them. That's amazing. And then I go out randomly, and random people just know me, and I find that so crazy. I'm like, wow, like you know me. Like, I'll be, like, in, like, Chicago, and then, like, some, like, group of girls know me. I'm like, wow. 
a group of girls know me all the way across like the freaking US. Like that's crazy. That is crazy. Um and also I get like like free shoes here and there too, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, um yeah, and other clothes clothes and stuff too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bunch of clothing. I actually had a, a brand new a fashion nova, but that was um like two years ago. Yeah, have you ever gotten something you're like, oh my god, like you would not wear that when you opened it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, I had to wear it with a picture. I was like, damn, it. damn, it. damn. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, man. Who are some cool um, influencers that you've met? Ooh, oh my gosh, there's so much. Um, I met Josh Richards. I met Sam Hurley. I've met um, Daniel Kahn. Well, I, I actually did. A video with her it's called some beer i was like the ex-boyfriend in there it's pretty fun it me and danny actually like are pretty close but we kind of like fell off as friends but she's still really close to me like she's cool as fuck but who else jabez obviously and there's a lot of people bro but i just there's so much people that i i haven't like met met i've seen them i, I but I, I didn't really like go up to them and like like introduce myself i've met peaches no peaches? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> For your viewers that are watching this and no peaches are going to laugh. Yeah, I met her and then who else have I met? I've met countless, bro. This They're not only really, like famous, famous, so like I wouldn't consider them famous. I've met um, Charlie D'Amelio at, at Playlist. Mm-hmm. Then I met Larry, you know, with like the curly hair at Playlist yeah. too. But that's about it, man. Like everybody else, like I find that are like famous like they have like like, like my following and stuff like that so I, I only consider them famous yeah um so tell us about mark i got a picture mark <laughs> back in the day um, like uh, how did you meet him and like yeah me and mark we actually met a little bit through social media no 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 no, no. i think it was either social media or i saw him because i saw him in person at at this um jumping place called thin air in san antonio and then it, it was like a little lock-in where like it's like from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. And I, I had saw him and I asked him like for like some deodorant and I was like, hey bro, do you have any like um spray on you? He's like, oh yeah, 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 bro, for sure. Like and then like, and like I guess like he had knew me because I don't know because I was like already like kind of like in like to, like social media. I had like 9,000 followers or some shit like that, and he had like 10,000. I know he, he had like 9,000 as well. Like so we were like at like at the same following, and i think i had seen him too i was like oh wait yeah yeah, yeah. Like, and then we started just clicking from there and then we started like linking at six flags and stuff i mean i don't know like ever since like that like i don't know we just started hanging out like every single weekend and stuff like that so it, yeah it was pretty cool do you have and any got hella stories? close yeah do you have any funny stories with mark oh yeah yeah I do. <laughs> there was one time we went to the to this, to this mall and like we shut it down because we did like this mean greet <laughs> me and mark were like running from the cops and it was hilarious <laughs> and like the, the cops were like hey curly head stop stop right there and then I, I remember i got arrested with him it was it was crazy because we were trespassing in the mall for starting a riot and i was like oh my gosh a riot as in bringing people over to your mall to buy your clothes yeah so what the heck? um yeah, did y'all man. actually go to the jail i went to the jail because <laughs> Okay, so the day that we did that big mean greet was a Diego, Mark, me, and all these other influencers. And then, so Mark got away, and then these other three. But I didn't get away, and, like, this whole group of, like, boys. So I got, so, like, they were all, like, 17 and up. And so the cop thought that I was 17 years old at the time. So at that time, they were like, okay, you're banned for two years. Okay, and, I, and so I was, still, I, I was only 13. I was like, okay, fuck it. Like, I, like I'm going to still come back. <laughs> so six months later i came back and they showed like my little fly like a little flyer and they're like is this you and i was like yes and they just got me in cuffs and then like, they put marking cuffs as well because like he was with me and bro they're just like you're gonna go in there for like three years i was like no way i'm gonna go in there for three years that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy what the heck and then and then i got there and then like my, my dad showed up and they're like well th- it was just a warning and we're, like we we're just trying to scare you and this and that like just don't show up to our mall ever again i was like and then, like, my hands were all, like, because uh, I was, like, so skinny. So, like, they, like, put it on, like, my arms so tight. And I was just, like, I, like, lost blood pressure, bro. It was horrible. It was terrible. Yeah, they should have been paying you for showing up at the mall. <laughs> yeah, and like, instead of arresting me, like, why Why am I arrested? 
<laughs> it's crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I'll throw some other names out there. Uh, Huncho. <laughs> oh, Huncho, Huncho. I haven't, I haven't spoke to Huncho in a while, actually. I uh, spoke to him last like two months ago, but then he's been on his own stuff. He's been doing, he's like been like washing cars and and stuff like that. Like honestly, me and him just had a little fallout, but we have some good memories together, me and Huncho, for sure. Yeah. I remember he'd always sleep in my house. He'd just crash and then wake up at six, be like bro, like six p.m. Like we're all like on like with like our, our day and everything. He's just like that's the only one waking up like that late. Yeah, he's a character, yeah. bro, and he's and he also snores a lot. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I saw you. Uh, you guys went to his grandma's funeral to support him. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I loved his grandma. She was so nice, bro. So nice. She would always check up on him too. She'd be like, like, is Huncho okay? Or is Huncho in, in like any trouble? And like, she would only like really like trust me with him and stuff like that. Yeah, she was like a wonderful lady, bro. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. What what are some big moments that you've posted on social media? Like, I know there was uh, one where you had your braces took off, stuff like that. Like, that what are some big moments? Yeah. Ooh, honestly, like big moment as in what? Like a sad moment? Like a uh, happy moments? Uh, sad moments? Whatever. Anything that kind of sticks out to you over the last few years? Well, the only like big, big sad moments were like my two breakups, or like my one breakup was my ex Hazel, <laughs> and like I like I went on live and all this dramatic shit, like started crying and stuff, like man, like I love you, this and that, <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, like Maisel's broken up <laughs> and all this, and all this weird shit. I don't even know, but honestly, like that was a pretty big thing for me. Like I was like like social media was like by my side on like on that like the whole time, but ever since that day, bro, I stopped putting my emotions out because I got clowned on. Like, like everybody was just like, this dude just wants to post his emotions and stuff like that. Like, all this, like, he's crying. And, like, I was like, you know what? I can't do that. And plus, I was only 14 as well. So, I'm still, like, you know, maturing. I mean, I'm still maturing right now. But, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was only 14, so. <laughs> I have um, my reasons. Describe your uh, style. My style? Dude, honestly, I just wear some PJs. I always wear PJs. Or I'll wear, like, some baggy sweats. Or if I'm trying to, like, dress up, I'll wear baggy jeans, like, baggy-ish with forces. And then I'll wear, like, a big T-shirt because I just like big T-shirts. Because if I wear, like, a small T-shirt now, like, I don't know, like, my arms tend to, like, I just don't like my – sometimes I just don't really like my, my arms, like, being too tight in shirts. I'm just like, you know what? No, nah, I'll just I'll just be normal today. Let's put, like, a long shirt on. And, and no one knows. <laughs> Just to be humble. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have some pictures of your previous uh, styles. <laughs> <laughs> that was a – okay, I'm talking about my style right now. I used to have a style before. I would just dress up as whatever, bro. I just on like, cute. tight tight pants. That was that was a cool-ass fit. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I still have that jacket in my closet, too. Really? That was from, yeah, that was from Fashion Nova. Hmm. Yeah, um, so you're pretty famous for your hair too, the curly hair, the thing that mm-hmm. caught you, don't you? <laughs> like the curly hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's. Uh, does it take a lot of time to make your hair look like that? Honestly, no, no, it doesn't. I just get out, I scrunch it, and I let it dry. I put just a little bit of, of cat in there, and I spray it. But recently, I've been growing out like my sides, mm-hmm. and bro, I didn't think that my sides like would be curly because my top was a perm. So I yeah. recently stopped perming it like almost two years ago, like a year and like a couple months ago. And bro, literally my hair started growing out like, like, like not like curly, 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 but like, it was like wavy curly. I was like, okay. Like, like I like this better than like tight unnatural curls. So I just started to grow it out like all over and I, I'm liking it better like this, bro. Yeah. And you've done some pretty cool stuff with it, like putting uh, designs in it and stuff. Have you ever had like a bad haircut where you're like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> the, the designs bro i didn't like the designs <laughs> that was not it, it was it was a little it was a little bad era of my life i just I, mean, I got little eyebrow slits i was like oh my gosh what, what was i doing i think those look cool though I, I don't those know. do look cool yes but my barber at the moment he didn't he was he was new but I'm, I'm i'm not gonna bash him he's super good now super good but at the time i was like a little test test rat so he freaking just did little slits and like a little bald on my eyebrow. I was like, oh my gosh, man. Like, really? <laughs> I'm bald yeah. now. That's like, 
<laughs> that's the worst test dummy ever. Somebody with like hundreds of thousands literally, of followers and stuff. Literally, I, I'm like, dude, you, and I, I, dude, I, I had to go to this little thing called um the Creators Live, like the day after that, and I was so embarrassed to go there, and like everybody was like just looking at like like my eyebrow, and like all like these like influencers are just staring at my eyebrow. I was like, or at least I felt like they were staring at my eyebrow because I don't know. That's hilarious because they probably didn't even notice, and you're just like, no, they didn't even notice. I, I was just thinking, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was funny. Yeah. Um. So, how did you get started with bodybuilding and stuff recently, or not recently, really? From um, I'm not really a body bodybuilder. Like, I wouldn't consider to be like huge because that's I don't like. Oh, no, no. Like, honestly, working out just makes me happy. Like, actually, this morning I was stressed out, and then I, I worked out. I'm the happiest mood ever. I'm just so happy right now. Literally. It, it's just like a, a good stress relief. Like without like the gym, bro, like, and obviously, you know, I would be really stressed out right now, <laughs> but now the gym keeps me in like in a, I look good, sharp mindset. I get to meet people there, good friends, you know, good connections over there and stuff like that. So overall, it's really, really good. Yeah. I, I was going to make you feel better to like physically. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, honestly, if you're not even getting big, fuck it. Like, as long as you're feeling good, who cares? Literally, yeah. being big does not matter at all. I came to that conclusion because I, I'll go out in public and then I think that, like, oh, like, like so and so's like, going to want me, but they don't care about me. Like, like they're wrong for, like, that little boy over there, like, like they don't want me. So I'm like, okay, like, females don't really care about it. So I'm just going to do it for myself now. Cause I used to do it for the females so I, because I was like, you know what? Like I didn't get veins. I got all this stuff. Like, yes. Like, like abs. And then like, like, you know what? These girls don't even care about it. And I was like, why should I, why should I even like do it for the girls? Like I'm just going to do it for me, honestly. And ever since then, I just started loving it, bro. Yeah. Um, and like whoever hates on me, I really don't care. Cause I'm doing what I like. Yeah, It's weird. People would hate on you for that. Yeah, it is like, Oh, you're working out. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> or at least, I don't know, like, do something else. <laughs> Let me sit around. Um, what does your diet look like? Or is it, do you focus? Uh, much I don't on... have a diet. I, no. I, have a diet. I mean, I do eat, I, I eat so good because my mom cooks really good. But without my mom, I would have no diet. But <sighs> that was a little burp. Um, I eat salmon, steak. And then salmon and steak are my mains for like dinners, and then for breakfast I always eat eggs, always, and then oatmeal. And literally that's about it. And Brussels and sprouts Chick-fil-A, for like the greens, and <laughs> Chick Fil A, Whataburger, Sonic, you know all that stuff. I already have like all like my old. Dishes. I get the number eleven. I get the number two at Chick Fil A. I get. <laughs> I already know what I get. That's I funny. get like two chicken sandwiches from Chick Fil A. But. I mean, I am 16 right now, so my metabolism is running super fast. But by the time I'm I'm 18 or 19, I'm I'm gonna for sure start dieting because I'm I'm not gonna be that that careless about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, right now you can do that. Like later on. Yeah, especially at night times, bro. You already know I get the munchies. <laughs> Enjoy it now. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah, uh, Mark said you're always trying to get him uh, in the gym. Do you ever have you gotten a few people in there? And I tried, okay, speaking of Huncho, I brought Huncho in about three months ago, and he actually, like, kind of liked it, and then I got my friend Josh in the gym, I don't know if you know Josh, he goes by Cool Boy Marty on Instagram, he's like this car guy, yeah, so I got him into the gym, and he's been consistent now for three weeks, and I last saw him three weeks ago, so he's been just going at it ever since then, and I was, like, like his motivation, but I've been trying to get Mark into the gym because, man, I want to see Mark big, like, that'd be cool, like, that'd be really, really cool. I can just see Mark go from Mark to Big Mark, you know. <laughs> but I mean, whatever makes him happy. If if working out right now doesn't make him happy, so be it. Like maybe later on, like he'll be happy with it. But who knows? Yeah. Um. What are some? I of do your... tell him to do like push-ups like here and there though. Like I'm always like, bro, do push-ups. Do like a hundred push-ups. Like make sure you do this and that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um. What are some of your? I'm gonna go through some of your favorite things. Uh, movies. Movies. I love Rocky. Rocky's my favorite movie. Hmm. All the Rockies. Literally a favorite. Um, favorite color? Red. Uh, movies. Not movies, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at my list. Uh, cars. Cars. Ooh, Black Mustang. Old school. 
Oh, my mom had one of those when I was no younger. way. It's cool. <laughs> bro, send me, bro, you gotta send me a picture of her Mustang after this, please. <laughs> well, she doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my she let my friend drive it. I I'd never wanted to drive it. I'm like, I ain't trying to crash this thing. Like, I'm not trying <laughs> to crash your Mustang, mom. You're gonna get real mad at me. <laughs> um, yeah, how has um. I don't know if it has at all being in Texas, but how's COVID in, impacted your life? COVID. COVID, COVID. Biggest bummer. Um, honestly, man, I just feel like it's like a simulation at this point. Like, we're just all living in some, like, matrix. The government's just crazy. I'm, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to get, like, canceled, but that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the government's crazy. And, yeah, just, every, every, everything's just chaos. But I I do respect people for, like, wearing your mask. If, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask if you want to. I'm not gonna wear a mask. I don't. I don't, I don't need them because I just don't find it beneficial. You know, it's just my opinion. Yeah. So. Um. You. But been... yeah, COVID. COVID in Texas is pretty good though. It's like the best here. Like, like everybody here is pretty like lenient about it. Like everybody's still partying and stuff like that. Right? <laughs> Which is bad to say, <laughs> but it's better than California because California like they're like, hey, you gotta like cover your whole face up to come into this building and like be like triple vaccinated to come in here and you know, all this and that <laughs> all that extra stuff i just not for me have you had your fourth booster yet nope. <laughs> <laughs> no i've had my like seven now i'm like jesus if i like oh my god <laughs> that's a lot Honestly, bro, as long as you're chilling you're fine it's just like a new <laughs> thing you know yeah um so yeah uh, lately uh, for a while now you've been pretty open about smoking weed on <laughs> on oh, yeah. instagram um did you put a lot of thought into showing that part of your life because yeah i did i would debate with my friends all the time because i've been smoking for two years now so you know oh, man i smoke a lot like i'm i'm kind of high like right now but you know <laughs> i still get like i get like all my stuff done i'll i'll like do some beneficial stuff first before I get high. And I, I like to get high in like the night times, like around like eight ish to like just chill out. But I, bro, I used to like wake and bake and used to smoke all the time, like in the mornings. And like I would, I would go to the gym high, just all this shit. Like, I mean, I, I, bro, honestly, like I've gotten better at communicating high better than sober because, okay, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that weed is, is like good and that like y'all should do it to like the viewers, but. Dude, that's it helps the social anxiety so much, man. Like, I'm for some people it makes it worse, but for me it makes it better because I just feel way more loose and more talkative. But it has to be like a nice sativa strain because if it's indica, bro, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just out, down. Yeah, it seems like the most important thing is balance. Like some people balance. let it like take over their life, and it's like all they ever oh, do no. or think about. And so it sounds like you have a balance going, so. Yeah, I've, I've actually just started having a balance about four or five months ago because, man, I was getting stoned too much. And I was like, you know what? I'm high all the time. I'm like, why am I Why am I high right now? Like, there's moments where I'm just like, I'm, I'm around so, like, okay. So, like, what really, like, kind of made me stop getting high as much as I did is my last time seeing my grandpa, I was high as shit. And I kind of, like, and, like, the least funny way like, like that sounds, like, that sounds hilarious, but, like, so he died back in February in, in, in 2021. And the last time I saw him, I was high. And, like, I just – I chose my friends over him. And I was like, you know what? Maybe, like, if I wasn't so into smoking, like, smoking, smoking like that, that I would have been, like, sober enough to, like, remember my last moments with him and, like, you know, all that stuff. And, like, after that, I was like, like, you know what? Like, this is, like, my sign to, like, you know, still do – like, still smoke, obviously, but have moderation. Like, I, I start being sober more often, like, because if you're not happy, if you're not happy sober, then you're not going to be happy high. It's just going to be, like, a really bad trip. Like, you're just going to be, like, not a trip, but, like, you know, like, it's going to enhance, like, your sadness and, like, your stress and, like, your feeling. So, you got to be happy sober. Like, that's, like, that's, like, the main goal here, like, for us to all be happy without drinking, smoking, blah, 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 all the bad drugs. Like, I don't, I would never do any of those drugs. Only smoking, and also I hate drinking. Despise it. I just don't know. I feel like I would just mess up on it. Um, have you gotten a lot of criticism for posting those types of things? Smoking? Oh yeah, people judge me a lot, and honestly, I don't blame them because a lot of stoners are kind of like you know like 
what people interpret them to be like lazy bums or stupid slow which i don't judge any sooner because they're all people just like me and you and everybody else so but i can see like i just don't want to i just want people to look at me like that like obviously yes i'm a stoner but i have my stuff together like, I, I have my priorities right i'm, I'm going to get my stuff done and then i'll smoke i won't like i mean obviously there's some days where i'll stone like like at four or like or like at this time or like you know like at two but that's if i have like all, all like my stuff together if i don't have my stuff together i'm gonna feel like incomplete and i'm gonna feel like why did i get stoned right now for what what was the reason so yeah man i've been i love smoking but it's more of like a nighttime thing for me once everything's out of the way so just like the moral to it cool yeah thanks for sharing that because <laughs> i told you before and i was gonna ask i was like if you're cool with that i didn't know if you were oh, no 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 I'm more than cool with it. Yeah, because everybody knows I smoke now. Or at least I hope. Except for my grandma. Hopefully my grandma doesn't see this. <laughs> no. um, my grandma's a character that I'm, I'm sure she wouldn't care. But I just, it would just be kind of awkward to talk to her about it. Yeah, how do your parents feel about it? Oh, yeah. They're cool with it because they see that it helps me like a lot in, in certain ways. And that I've gotten better from what I used to be, like I was saying. Like I would get stoned all the time. And they've seen that I've that I can take weed out of my life at some points and be okay. Because they thought that, man, if our son, like, like he might, like, just need weed, like, to, like, just be regular. Like, no. Like, I'm literally regular sober. I just have, like, m- my moods are a little bit worse when I'm sober because, you know, more stressed out. But it's okay. You got to deal with things soberly than smoke them out. It's like putting a band-aid on, like, a freaking open wound. Like, what, like what's that going to do? Like, nothing. Yeah, so, yeah they're should... proud of me. And they're fine with me smoking, yes, because it's not drinking or any drugs, so they're fine with it. Like, they're completely fine with it. Cool. Um, I should have got my roommate in here because he'd be like, "What top do you like? Do you like this guy?" <laughs> Dude, <laughs> tell him I like the diva. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. But stoners are like my favorite favorite people, bro. Like they're so interesting and intellect with everything, and like it's everything's just I don't know. Um, really interesting people. <laughs> Speaking of adult topics. Um, Diego has an OnlyFans now. Luigi yep. has one. Uh, is that something you would do when you turn eighteen? <laughs> okay, I know I'd make I, I'd make bank for sure. I would. My friend Saya told me that too. But man, I don't know. I wouldn't. I can't show. You know, my cat just opened my door. If, if he just saw that, but yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'd make good money, but I I don't want to like I don't want to like put like my you know what out there and like. I mean, I I would do it if I if I just posted like towel pics and like you know like this and that, but yeah. Um, random question: I didn't know you had a cat. Does the dog and the cat get along? Or mm-hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they get along. That could be a disaster if, <laughs> if they didn't. Yeah, um, my dog would rip its head off for sure. <laughs> um, what are so. I asked this one uh, to a few people. Jabez said that somebody wanted to give him a shower, and if he if they let him do that, he would uh, they would pay him, and he could live with him. Um, Jake said um, they love Jake. He said that somebody wanted to pay him to rub baby oil on his face. And Man, that. I can go to some DMs right now and show you mine. Mine are crazy. <laughs> mine are like, I want you to to whip your thing out and have me suck it upside down and for like I'll pay you so much money and I'm like what the fuck and it's like this older woman saying it I'm like oh my god I'm gonna turn I didn't see it <laughs> I'm just gonna skip by <laughs> look at my supporters messages and not that like I don't know <laughs> do you um what is that the craziest one you've ever gotten you got a top I've gotten a lot just, more crazy just... ones <laughs> so much there's just too much and then I got like this these old men like send me like pictures like like that, but them naked and like it's disgusting, man. I'm just like, dude, and I just block them. I don't even care about the follow. I just block them, bro. Yeah, why would they send you? I'm pretty sure that's probably illegal. That's very legal. Very. <laughs> it's disgusting, dude. Uh, that one might top day best. I don't know. Um, <laughs> with some of the um, best gifts that you've gotten, because you have a you've put your PO box before, and then you've also went mm-hmm. on tour, so people can give you stuff there. Man, my best gifts. Someone gave me a drawing of myself, and then someone gave me some Air Forces. That, that was pretty nice. And then I got some clothes at the meet and greets, but 
And my P.O. box, I haven't checked my P.O. box in like four months, so I don't even know what, what's in there right now, honestly. I need to go check it. So, so I'll let you know like, what I get. <laughs> I hope it's money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's hope it's not food. <laughs> Let's hope it's not. Yeah, that'd be really, really old food. Very old. Um, what's your, uh, this is one I've added in lately, and people seem to have a lot of funny answers for it. What's your best Halloween costume that you've worn? Ooh, best Halloween costume. Best Halloween costume. Okay, go to my mom's Instagram, and there's like me, like in like this Joker costume. It's, it's hilarious. It's like, if you scroll like all the way down, bro, like just all the way down, like just, and it's just me, like in like this cane. But, like my hair all slicked back and I look all serious and like tattoos on me. I played like that. I was like my like my best costume. And then I was also a werewolf for Halloween when I was like eleven. I had like little fangs in and everything. It was cool. And like contacts. But then my recent Halloween costume, all I wore was a prison suit and a, a contact. So that was yeah, I saw that. It's, it has a crazy eye in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think I might have a picture of that. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty dope actually. And then I did. But like my friend Hazel, mm-hmm. we like matched prison outfits and stuff. She was a um a cop. Yeah, yeah, I like badass right there. That was cool. Yeah, the eyes crazy. <laughs> that was a cool aspect. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, what's some of the strangest gifts you've gotten? Uh, Mark got a box of ladybugs. Jabez got a pair of panties. Somebody had worn. So you got to top those. I've never gotten anything like that, actually, bro. Never. What? I'm not gonna lie with you. I'm and I'm surprised. Mark never told me you got a box of ladybugs. Yeah. Never, what? He's, he posted on social media that he hates ladybugs, and then so somebody sent him a whole box, box of, of ladybugs. <laughs> and were they dead? They were alive. Oh. <laughs> no way! It's funny. He said they just no let way. him out in the backyard. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. So funny. Um, what do you have some advice for uh, guys uh, with girls? With You're pretty good um, in that category, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, I, I haven't dated in two years because my last said I wasn't stable enough to be in a relationship because I was too sensitive. But my biggest thing, fellas, don't think too much. That was my big thing. I thought too much about everything. I would literally take any little problem and maximize it in my head to like the biggest thing ever don't do that like literally if you're if you're thinking something negative talk to them about it if you're thinking about something like that's like you're just feeling like shitty about literally just tell them about it because if you don't tell them then they're not going to know like how you're feeling and if they don't know how you're feeling then that's just not good so just communication guys communication is key that's what i really sucked at so i'm just telling people what to not suck at so, yeah. yeah, that's probably the best answer. I've Communication. <laughs> Usually, people just say, "Be yourself." <laughs> be yourself. Yes, yes. Be yourself. But you know, well, you know, at first, if you're trying to like talk to a girl, you gotta like, you gotta like see like what they like. You know, what do they like? Like, be interested in what they're talking about. Like, you know, huh? Yeah, just like literally. Even if like you don't, don't be fake, fellas. Don't be fake. But like, even if like you like you don't like know. Like I, I don't know, like if like you don't know like what she's talking about, just be like yeah, 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 <laughs> and like you know, like like girls like that, like you're like you're actually just like understanding like what like they're saying. I don't know. <laughs> just be really understanding, be yourself, and don't think too much and communicate. Biggest things I can say. But honestly, yeah. I need to tell myself that because I think too much. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, what's something your followers would be surprised to find out about you if you haven't already said it? <laughs> Man. Um, I do a lot of forex trading or like, at least I, I've been trying to lately. Like I do demo accounts and this and that. Like I, I do pocket options. Like, you know, pocket option. Nope. It's like, it's like binary options. Just look it up after this. If, if you want to, it's called binary options though, bro. It's, it's pretty beneficial. I, I do that on the side, and then shit. Also, I don't want really to do anything. I just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like low to myself, you know. I'm just by myself like all the time, mostly. I mean, like I have friends, but I don't go to school. I don't really have like a social social life. If, if people think that I do have a social life, I really don't. I'm barely antisocial, and like I'm, I'm pretty social, like, like right now. But like, if it comes to like in person, like talking, 
I'm kind of like antisocial because I'm not used to talking to people in person because I, I, I don't even like go to school like that. And like, like my only social place is at Gold's. So, yeah, you do private yeah. school. Yeah, I do um, this thing on online. It's like a six month program. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. That's cool. That is funny. I would think you're a very like social extroverted person. <laughs> I I try to. I, I try to like not talk to myself, but like I try to like, I don't know, fucking just like come up with things in my head to like say to people like whenever I see them. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I honestly, I find it better to be alone sometimes because the more into yourself you are, like, like the more like you take care of your own self and not take care of, of others' needs then you're better as a person. So if you're better as a person, then you're going to be better for somebody else. So you're going to do like that positive shine in in their life. In in their life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's the best and worst thing about having a big following? So the best thing about it, obviously, like what I was saying, you know, you get a bunch of supporters, you get all this free clothes, you get some money from brand deals, obviously, or this and that. But the bad thing, bro, it's just like people would just look at you like, okay, so me, I'm I'm very caring. Like I, I care about everybody. Like no matter how ugly, no matter how hot, no matter how mean, no matter how stupid, no matter how nice you are, I don't care. I'm, I'll I'll be nice to you if if you're nice to me. And people just think that I'm gonna be some cocky motherfucker in person. I'm I'm not cocky though. I, I'm not cocky at all. And they think I'm cocky because I work out, I post pictures on social media, I have a big following, and so then they make it like. So people just don't talk to me because they think that I'm like that. And that shit really affects me because it comes down to a point where people just don't want to talk to me. But that's just how like I see it. And their reason may be like, oh, well, he's too famous. Or like he posts too much shit with pictures. Or, I don't know. He's too into himself. Like some some random shit. Like, bro, I'm not even into myself like that. Like, I literally want to be friends with all of you. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm a teenager just like y'all. Like, I, I, I'm trying to have like a social life. But honestly, man. I feel like social media has changed my life a lot like, for like the better and I got to like love myself more and you know, fuck it. Good. And the people who are in my life right now, like they understand that like my social media isn't me. Like it is me, but like, it's not like, I'm not like straight social media, social media guy. Like I'm not like content, content, this, content, that. I'm just like, like, you know, I'm just Matthew. Like, yeah. Do you ever need to take breaks from social media? Is it a little too much sometimes? Oh Yeah. It is like I, I kind of want to take a break, like right now, actually, because I'm kind of going through it just, just just a little bit. I just want to like get like myself together, but I hear taking breaks from like ruin, like ruin you. So I kind of want to take a break. <laughs> yeah, there has to be some balance there. Like like everything, there there has to be some balance, probably. So yeah, pop yeah. in every now and then, remind them you're still alive. You know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just be like, hey guys, you know, I'm here. I think that's what Diego does. He pops in every now and then, like, I'll start posting again sometime. <laughs> and then he just goes away. <laughs> Man, I um, Diego. I haven't seen him in a minute. What are uh, some of your big goals for this year and, and moving and even after that? Big goals. I want to start reading a lot more. Um, every single day, I'm going to start reading a chapter a day. And then every single morning, I'm going to start um, doing, like, that fork stuff I was telling you about. And then I'm going to start working out more and, and like training harder than like I did last year. And then, so those are like my three main goals for like, and then my other goal is just to be happier like as a person. Like I'm just trying to be more positive because my last year self, bro, like I was just so negative. Like I was, I was talking down to myself. I was like always stressing out. And also I'm not trying to smoke as much as I did last year. Yes. Still smoking is amazing. Like smoking is my personality. I'm not going to change that. But, like, I'm not going to smoke as much. Like, kind of like I was telling you previously. Like, like, but that's why. Yeah. Um, do you have but any if, idea for, like, careers so far? Careers? Um, I, I want to do Forex. Like, I, I want to be, like, a straight freaking investor, like, trader guy. But, honestly, what I'm trying to do, like, something with fitness. Because, I mean, the fitness is you not know, for me. Or, or modeling. Like, I really want to, like, pursue modeling. But I just don't have any connections. So I'm going to try to get some good connections and, like, see, like, where I can go with it. Shit, maybe even acting, bro. Who knows? Yeah, modeling should work for you. You have plenty of, like, shots to put in a resume or whatever, so. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah. I can see me doing that, honestly. Probably not this year, but 
18 for sure. I'll be an adult by 18. I'm going to get everything, like, I'll get everything together by this year. By next year, for sure, I have to remodel, for sure. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Um, last two questions. You brought up reading. What's something you've been reading lately? I've been reading The Happiness, or, yeah, The Happiness Advantage by um, Sean Aker. So It's pretty good. I've only, I'm, I'm only on page 44. I've been, I've been reading it for, like, just two weeks. But I'm going to really start getting into it this week, for sure. For sure, for sure. Like, I'm going to have to. Because oh. I've always been a very – okay, the reason why I'm, I'm reading, I don't go to school. I've been to school since freshman year. I'm in junior year right now. Obviously, I want to do something beneficial for myself. And then two, bro, I suck at reading. Like, I'm, I'm not going to cap it to you. I, 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 I'm not going to say this out to, like, the universe because, like, the universe can, like, alter, like, what, like, you say into, like, reality. But it's not like I suck at reading. It's just I've always been slow. So I'm trying to get better at reading. And I feel myself getting better day by day by reading this. And I, I'm just going to keep on doing it until I'm good. And until, like, I get fluent with, like, people and stuff like that. Because I've always had, like, a really bad thing with, like, stuttering and stuff like that. And, like, I was always in, like, dyslexia classes and all that stuff. I, I was just tired of that. And I, I just want to, like, change from then and, like, be better. And, like, yeah, was, was that those things a big struggle in your life? Honestly, yeah. But I, I try to block it out. And I'm not going to, like, make it, like, my main source of struggleness. Because that's not even, like, a big struggle. Like, anybody can conquer reading and, like, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, and what's some of your favorite music? I forgot to ask that earlier. I see oh, I love okay. rock. I love rock. Oh, my gosh. Rock has my heart, bro. Rock is cool. <laughs> cool. Um, do you have any? I love ex- um, Deftones, Nirvana, Duality, Slipknot. Um, there's a lot more, bro. There's um, Five Finger Death Punch. There's Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. Uh, what else is there? There's a lot, bro. I listen to like a shit ton of rock music. I just don't even like know like the artists. So I just listen to it because it comes on on like and as ad. I just freaking add and add and add. And just like I like this music. I like this one. I like this one. That's funny. I do that too. I don't really know all the people that sing all the songs. I like. You rattled some of those off pretty fast though. I was like examples. <laughs> you had yeah, them. man. I just I I had them off the bat because those are, like my mains. Like those are, like my main go tos, but. I also like rap music too, though, bro. Like, I have a really good, like, I love um, freaking Key Glock, Young Dolph. I love, um, who else do I love? I, I love Snoop Dogg too. Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube. And then Lil Tootie's, he goes hard. And then Lil Dirk, he goes hard too. Lil Baby goes hard. Um, not the baby. He's, he's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, ask me a clone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so I got some of your stuff. You haven't checked it in three months, so I don't know if they should be sending it to you. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Send me this. I'll check it literally by February. I'll check it by February. <laughs> I will. I will for sure. Yep, uh, that's where they can send gifts to. You can pause it and <laughs> if you want to. Uh, and also, it'll be in the bio, too. So um, okay. we got your Instagram, Matthew Valenzuela. Then you got the backup. It has like how many H's? One, two, three. It has four. like a million H's. I don't even know how much H's it has. Same <laughs> on my TikTok though. And then, uh, then you got the. Is that yours? The yeah. Matthew Jones with my, my fitness one. Yeah, I only have three accounts on Instagram. I have two on TikTok, and then I have two on Snapchat. But actually, my main one, I actually got logged out of it. So I'm trying to get that one back. But I have a little second account that I use mostly. So. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't want to put a spammers thing up there. Somebody that's just like, or catfish or whatever they call it. <laughs> um, TikTok, I think it has five H's. Yeah. Yep, five. <laughs> I try to change it, bro, but I just, I want to change it to just Matthew Valenzuela, but I, someone has it, so I'm kind of pissed off about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who would take it? That's crazy. Um, who would you take that? Yeah. Um, I mean, unless it's their actual name. <laughs> Valenzuela is really Balance was really, really very name. popular. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, and your TikTok has a million followers on it. That's freaking crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah um, what's something, a message you'd like to give for your followers? Um, just as the last um, thing. Y'all just keep those head up no matter what. If you're having a really bad day, it's just a bad day. It's not a bad life. Keep on pushing to your goals and ambitions. Um, just keep on being you. Literally, just keep on being yourself. 
And if someone doesn't like you for yourself, just fuck them. Just say, fuck you. You're like, literally, that's just God giving you an example or like a thing that they're not, that I'm meant for like, that it's not meant for you. So just move on with your life, meet better people. There's better people in this world. Just be yourself. And if you're, as long as you're happy doing like what you're doing, just keep on doing what you're doing. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for being on. And if you're uh, watching this, make sure that you subscribe so I can have other cool guests like Matthew on. And yeah, I like uh, it too. <laughs>